Welcome to Market Matters with Modder. I'm Trisha Modder with Ontario Real Estate Services. And we are here today in one of my favorite neighborhoods in San Jose, Willow Glen, featuring a charming downtown with amazing restaurants such as The Table, A Keys, and so many more, as well as wonderful shops to explore. And some of the amazing things about Willow Glen is the variety of homes, from the Eichler built, providing that modern mid-century vibe, as well as these beautiful custom and unique homes unlike anything else. And we're here today to talk about the latest data and market trends in Silicon Valley. So let's get started. In California and in Silicon Valley, the sales volume has been remaining in strong, but that momentum is starting to slow down. We're seeing in the state of California, that momentum has slowed by 2% in the amount of sales volume in the past year. And in Silicon Valley, that's been a reduction in 1.4% of that sales volume. So we've been seeing that to where, especially in Silicon Valley, the home prices have continued to appreciate over the past year, pricing many buyers out of this marketplace. So we've seen now that the average sales price is currently at $1.9 million for a single family home in Silicon Valley, or $877,000 for a townhouse or a condo in Silicon Valley. For a region comparison, you can see that we're actually very much in line with Southern California for the Bay Area on that sales volume, where other areas in the state of California in many counties are seeing, in some cases, a double digit, as much as 19% in that reduction in sales volume. When it comes to price points and price segments, we are seeing an amazing situation when it comes to the higher volumes are having a more substantial growth with those especially over the $1 million price point. When we look at the sales growth and the velocity of the market for the state of California, it's been very much in line with Silicon Valley. Since 2008, we've been seeing this amazing velocity and growth upwards in a positive direction. And despite this leveling off in the most recent past few months, we're still seeing seven out of 10 homes selling above list price, not only for the state of California, especially in Silicon Valley. Where here, we are still seeing homes going with multiple offers and above list price. And as of September of this year, we're seeing that being 10.8% above that original list price. Switching gears and looking at the available inventory for sale, we're seeing in the state of California just under two months of available supply at 1.9 months of inventory. In Silicon Valley, it's even less at 0.9 months, less than one month supply of homes for buyers in the marketplace. And when we're seeing the days on market, for the state of California, it's been an average of eight days. Here in Silicon Valley, we're currently at 15, which has been up by two days since July of 2021. In closing, we are still in a strong seller's market here in Silicon Valley and in California, where we are seeing that low inventory and continued demand with that increase in appreciation throughout the marketplace. Now, this has been in line with what we had originally predicted earlier this year with some of our beginning market matters with modern updates. And we're expecting to see through the rest of the season a little bit more of that leveling and slowing down in pace in the market, but still very strong. So if you have questions about selling or buying in Silicon Valley through the Bay Area, California, or would like referrals to out of the area, I'm happy to connect you with a realtor that can help you meet your needs as well as help you with your needs here in Silicon Valley. And to share a little bit of a background story, we have Paul and Jolie that are gonna share about what it was like buying here in Willow Glen with myself helping them on the buying side and Michael Gordon helping them with the financing. So stay tuned for their story next. Hi, I'm Paul Messina. I'm Julie Reber. It was really great working with Trisha. She had a wealth of knowledge that was very helpful when, with dealing with this market because she'd been a, working in this very hot market for a long time and so she was able to bring all of that information to us and help us really simplify the process and, and try and make it as painless as possible. Trisha's awesome. I mean, she's been super knowledgeable, super proactive, um, will answer a question anytime, day or night, um, and has been fun to work with. So this made a terrifying process actually enjoyable. I, I'm a numbers guy and Michael is a numbers guy as well and so it made it really easy to work with him as a person and he was able to answer all of my questions, walk me through all of the steps in the process and turn something such as applying for a mortgage into, into a fun experience rather than it being a very 
boring and laborious process. Yeah, Michael's great. I would say he was a wealth of knowledge and took a complicated process and made it feel accessible. So with Michael, um, there is, after we had signed all the documents and we were done, there was some discrepancies that showed up with our homeowner's insurance and how they were, how I was getting paid to the company through the escrow process and all it took was a quick text to Michael and he solved it from there. And so it was very easy uh, and not having to go and track down a whole bunch of details and information on my own while I'm also in the midst of moving and packing and all the stuff that's going on at the same time. Yeah, I would say they both are incredibly proactive but oh. also really responsive and have been true end to end. So Trisha is still contacting us, asking if we need help with mm -hmm. contractors. I mean, there's no way we would have been able to move in as quickly as we were if it hadn't been for her connecting with us with folks. And with her entire contractor network, actually. Yeah. So awesome. it's been very helpful. And Michael's been great. I'm totally knowledgeable and made something difficult easy. And both of them uh, have actually made this process fun. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're not doing it alone. Yeah. I recommend them yep. as a duo couple. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next episodes and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Trisha Motter. And you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook at Trisha Motter. Thank you so much and I look forward to connecting with you soon.